Good morning. So I wanted to just kind of um, share my uh, travel quote creation process. <laughs> it's kind of a tongue twister. So I have created, I have created a travel form that I sent to interested travel clients. Um, and this form just basically helps me to see all of the criteria that will um, put the best quote together for them. Because in the beginning, I would say, okay, well, great. Okay, where do you want to go? How many people are going? And then I could maybe put together a quote and then it's like somebody might say, oh, well, that flight's too early or that flight's too late. So I was like, okay, let me go back, you know, and then it, it, this year I'm all about maximizing on my time. Like I want to make sure that I am using my time wisely. And I'm not saying customer service is not using time wisely. I'm just saying if I have 30 minutes to help the customer in the best way possible, I could maximize on that 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So with this form, um, hold on, let me see. With this form, I am able to get all of those details, boom, right there. And then from those details, I can create the quote. So this is what I'm sharing with you guys this morning. Um, and while I'm pulling this up, anybody who is interested in travel, um, whether it is uh, booking a cabin for your family, whether why, um, so that way it's kind of isolated, um, practicing social distance away from other families, that's an option. Interested in RV rentals, um, if you're interested in beach houses, because of course beach houses are another option for, beach houses are another option for uh, social distancing from other families, you know, and you're just kind of like vacationing amongst your family because you've been in the house with your family anyway. Um, let's see. Okay. So the way that I have my form set up, oh, and if you're interested in all inclusive type packages where, where you're saying, Hey, I want to go to LA or Hey, I want to go to Florida. Oh, that's my air conditioner. I mean, my heat. Um, and you want like a package deal. I could put that together for you as well. My first quotes are free. So use the uh, information in the comment section, not comment section, in the description section below. And um, you can fill out my form. You can actually see how I use my form um, and what questions I ask. Now, after each um, interested client, after each interested client uh, fills out the form, I actually have it set up where it will go to an Excel sheet. So once it gets to my Excel sheet, I can see everything streamlined right there in front of me. So I'm going to kind of show you bits and pieces of how I put that together, like I mentioned. So I have my uh, my the time of when the client actually put it up there so I'll know, okay, yeah, let me get to that. Let me not keep them waiting. I never want to keep a client waiting. So they have their email address, their name, how many people are traveling and all that good stuff. So let's get started. So I have a, a, a favorite vendor that I use because not only does it have amazing deals, it's a very user-friendly website and I am a librarian. I'm all about, you know, the usability of a website. So I'm going to pick one of my favorite um, vendors on this, like uh, this site here and this particular client. Um, hold on. I need to make it double screen. I, I hate flipping back and forth between two different windows. Okay. And I'm on my laptop. Um, I'm not like in my little office area. So we go see if this works. Okay. So we have two adults and, um, no children because that is important. Some resorts will allow you to bring children and you don't have to pay for them. Um, <laughs> so that, that's always a plus. So she has her dates here. Um, and I just realized I need to add something to my form. See, I'm learning more every day. Like it's the always changing experience. 
I well, I do know where she's flying out from, but that that's something that I need to add. Um, but luckily, I already know where she's flying out from. She's going to Cabo San Lucas, so I would just put that in Cabo to adults, and then she has her departure dates here. Um, returning. Let's see. And I'm going to add travel protection. Definitely key to add travel protection. Travel protection protects you from any unforeseen circumstances where if um, if anything were to happen where you needed to cancel, whether it's like um, natural disasters like hurricanes or something like that, or if you have lost luggage, that travel protection will help you. All right, so I have where I'm going, how many people, where I'm flying out from, and I actually have, I'm going to do flight, hotel, and transfers, okay? We can provide that. A lot of these packages will put it all together. Uh, that way, you know, okay, not only am I going to fly there round trip, not only do I have these so many nights at my resort, but I also have transportation from the hotel to my resort, okay? Okay. Also, right now, um, I provide research on your, your destination. <clears throat> Excuse me. I provide research on your destination. So if, um, if you're like going to Jamaica, I will definitely do research for you and your travel partners and let you know what the travel requirements are for, um, like depending on where you're going. There are some travel restrictions that have changed. So I will be sure to provide that with you as we're discussing your, your actual trip. All right. So I have a base price that has popped up for my client. She has also given me her price range that she wants to stay in. She's also given me her preferred um, airline. And what has popped up is not her preferred airline. So I'm going to change that. Let's see. Okay. All right. So I would just change that. And let's see what else. She also requested her time to fly out. I can do that in my actual um, vendor portal where I can pick and choose when they would fly out, when they would come back. And then she also has other requirements. She wants a four-star minimum hotel. Then our vendor websites will rank that for us. The hotels that pop up, it will rank it for us. Let's see what else. Um, what else does she have? And she has a preference in hotel. So let's see what we can do about these flights. And again, let me see this why I need double screen. Okay, so she wanted a morning. Flight departure, she wants it morning. And for flight return, she wants afternoon or evening. Um, afternoon or evening. And then I'm going to readjust what comes up reset filters and then I have airlines okay let's go with her first option which was this one here bam and then reset and we'll see what comes up um, search All right, I don't want to bore you guys with this, um, but I just wanted to share because we're reaching about 10 minutes and I don't want to just sit here staring at my screen while you stare at my at your screen. Um, but I just wanted to kind of share that um, the process so that you know kind of behind the scenes um, and actually, ooh, yes, this is like getting it um, even better 
to her her because what happens once i put in all of the criteria it breaks it down over to the side the total package price and then price per person so if you're um flying out with a best friend or um you and family members are flying together and you're like okay i'm paying for me you're paying for you <laughs> it breaks it down where um, you can kind of give them that price. Like, this is your portion. This is my portion. Once we pay both portions, we have paid for our entire trip. So I love how it breaks it down. Very user-friendly. Um, okay. So I have her flying out, her depart time, return time, all there. Let's see. And then I would just select... Okay. All right. And yeah, and then the next portion, um, of course, will be hotels. So she wanted, um, again, like I've made some adjustments. It's still within her price range. Yes. <laughs> okay, so she wanted a four-star. So I'm going to rank the hotels four-star she wants oceanfront with a balcony. So I'm going to do four star or higher. Okay. Um, and I always, I love telling my students, like when you're using the databases to get academic articles, I love using the filter sections off to the side because it weeds out what you don't want. When you are providing customer service and you're, um, especially, of course, in the travel industry, when you're using these vendors and you're using the filters, it saves time for not only you as the travel agent, but for the client. Because the quicker you get them that quote, not saying rushing through it, make sure you're taking your time and you're meeting those, um, those details that they're asking you for. And then that way, if you take your time, maximizing on your time, use those search filters. So yeah, I, I, I gave my um, hotel rankings and then um, I'm actually gonna, let's see, beach because she wants oceanfront. So of course, if the hotel's not on the beach, how's she gonna get oceanfront? Duh, that's kind of like a, a no brainer. So that's good. Oceanfront room with balcony. Um, Now balcony, let's see. And the way that... Our vendors are, well, this particular vendor is set up. Let's see if we have, if balcony is not an option, you could always go through. So I guess I'm kind of speaking to the travel agents and I'm speaking to uh, clients that, that, you know, are interested in kind of coming on over here and let me uh, give you a free quote. Um, but one tip, I guess, for travel agents would be, um, I'm speaking as an educator and librarian. Um, if you cannot see any search filters that say balcony per se, you can always go through and look at the, the hotel. So for example, I'm gonna click on this one. And then let's say, um, okay, now this one actually said, look at God, look at God. The very first hotel that I clicked on I can't turn my camera around, maybe in another video. But the first hotel that I clicked on, it has Garden View, Double Room Superior, Double Room Grande, and Ocean View. Yes, and that's what she wanted. So I would click on that option. And then, of course, I want to make sure when I click on Ocean View, from the basis of the pictures, making sure it has a balcony. Because it can be an ocean view from a window, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it has a balcony. So, once we select that, we're on our way to finish this quote. Look at that, in less than 15 minutes. And I've been, I was talking about five minutes before I started the quote. Um... God is so good. The price went down. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then the latter half, we're going to do her return flight when she's going home. And as you recall, at the beginning of the video, she said her, um, she wanted it to be, um, 
an afternoon or evening when when she's going home so i'm gonna reset those filters make sure we're adjusting that Let's see okay come on come on okay <laughs> oh that's perfect mm. yes you also want to make sure mm, excuse me you want to also make sure that you are um looking at layover time oh my goodness like of course <laughs> if if you have two flights that are the same same price why would you put your client on a flight that has a three hour delay versus an hour and 15 minute delay. Just saying. All right, select that. Drum roll. She has everything she wants. Price still went down. Boy, it's, it's still the same, not to mention. So everything that I just did, let me just say, for a round trip flight for two adults, staying in an all inclusive resort, for let's see 12 13 14 15 16 4 days yeah wait 12 15 16 <laughs> okay 5 days um yeah 5 days um with travel insurance transportation to and from your hotel did i say where this is going to yeah i said in the beginning um san lucas Cabo St. Lucas, that is uh, $2,100 per person. That is um, $1,066 per person. Boom. Package deal. There you go. Um, so, yeah. And then, of course, you can adjust the type of travel, travel protection that you want. This video didn't got too long. So, never mind. I'll, I'll save that. But yeah, so not only was I able to just provide to her something that is below her budget that she provided to me, but every other feature is there. Um, not to mention a lot of these hotels, it gives you extra amenities, different credits. Um, yeah, so look at that. Look at God. So yeah, y'all, I, I just, I absolutely love this. And I did this um, before my real work. Like, you know, I woke up early enough to be able to do this this morning before I clocked in, like, you know, we're working from home before I clocked in to my regular job. Yeah, so uh, link below. Um, if it, The link is below if you would like a free travel quote. Um, just fill that out. And I will get back to you. All right. And just a little fun game here. Let's do a bucket list. Um, anybody who watches this video, um, again, don't forget to fill out the form. But just comment below where your bucket list travel location would be. All right. Be blessed. <laughs>